As the crowd shuffled into Sacred Heart Catholic Church Saturday, emotions filled the room. Anytime you lose a friend, anytime you lose somebody like that, it's, it's, it's tough. Emotions of sadness and grief over the tragic loss of 59-year-old firefighter John Reisler. Oh man, trying to sum John up in, in a few words would take, it's almost impossible. Longtime colleague Eric Artsy was among the many overcome with emotion. Artsy was mentored by Reisler, as many other firefighters were across the state. The guy was a leader of men and uh, probably one of the greatest teachers and leaders that you'd ever meet in your life. A lot of firefighters had training from John and he provided that mentoring to them so that they were safely equipped to do their job in fighting wildland fires in the state. His impact, apparent in the sheer number of people in attendance. More than a thousand people were there with fire agencies from all across the state as well. I think it's really an important statement on how important John was to so many different fire departments throughout eastern Montana. A procession led Reisler's casket to the cemetery following the service, where Reisler received his last call for duty. And after a moment of silence, the sound of a helicopter cut the air. Giving a hero's send-off for a man that impacted the lives of many. When you look around here today and see the number of people that, that showed up to pay their respects to the man, I think is a, is a great representation of just exactly how impactful and how powerful that guy was. The Wildland Firefighting Community is just an incredible organization of people who share a passion for the work that they do and they share in each other's ups, and like on days like today, they share in the sadness. In Miles City, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.